Hello again, it's been a little while now. I have not abandoned this channel however, quite simply I just haven't had any ideas of what I wanted to talk about. I had this little manic moment where I put up new videos every single day but then eventually I just kinda stood there thinking. Now I've spoken about everything that I wanted to talk about, so what now? I haven't really played any horror games as of late, and while I tried experimenting by talking about other games, horror really is the thing that I want to do with this channel. But while I haven't played any horror games lately, one piece of horror content that I have consumed is a book called Suicide Forest. So, I figured, mostly for the sake of showing both my subscribers and the YouTube algorithm that I'm still alive, I would take this time to talk about this book, while I keep thinking about what I want to do with this channel in the future. So as always, this is Suicide Forest. Most of you probably already know about the Japanese suicide forest. If nothing else, thanks to the one and only Logan Paul. It is, as the name suggests, a forest in Japan known for being one of the most popular places to commit suicide. With a record of 105 found bodies in 2003 and hundreds of attempts every year, there is no wonder that the place has become so infamous around the world. Suicide Forest is a book written by Jeremy Bates and released in 2014. The story sees a group of young adults on their way to climb Mount Fuji. But due to the weather, they have to postpone their trip by one day. Brainstorming what they want to do in the meantime, they run into two Israelis who tell them that they are going to go out camping in the infamous suicide forest and invites our protagonists to join them. After some back and forth, our protagonists decide to take them up on the offer, something that they will end up regretting very, very soon. Now, the story of this book is undoubtedly very, very inspired by the Blair Witch. You have this group of people going out to camp in the forest, where they eventually get lost and stuck. For every night, more and more weird things start to happen until eventually they start dying one by one. Now, to give a little critique of this book, I have to say that it's very, very slow and it contains a lot of filler. Nothing really starts to happen in this book until the last quarter. I don't mind a book having a slower pace and building suspense and getting the reader familiar and attached to its characters. But in this book, it often felt very pointless. Like spending a significant amount of time creating love drama that ultimately ends up leading absolutely nowhere. You could have cut out all of the love drama from the story and it really wouldn't have changed a bit by the end. It is all very too obvious filler for my taste. But the one thing that I thought was interesting was the story behind our main villain. A person whose story is a lot more inspired by Hansel and Gretel than the Blair Witch. The story goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a man and a woman who had two children, a son and a daughter. But the parents were too poor and they couldn't afford their children. 
So they led them into the suicide forest and abandoned them there to die. And the daughter did just that, but not the son. The son was a very clever boy. He managed to scavenge for food and eventually made his way back to his village. He thought his parents would be happy to see him. He thought that they had left him there by mistake. But his parents weren't happy at all. They told him to leave and that they never wanted to see him again. So the boy once again found himself banished to live out in the forest. Eventually the boy now being more of a young man wanted children of his own. So whenever he would come across women who came out to the forest to die, he would kidnap and rape them. Eventually creating a sort of feral forest family of his own. This family is what our protagonists were unlucky enough to stumble into. Suicide Forest should have been a short story rather than a full length book. Because the concept is very interesting, but the experience gets bogged down by tons and tons of filler. But if it does sound interesting to you, I would encourage you to go out and read it for yourself. Because there is still a lot of story left to uncover that I haven't spoken about yet. So go out for yourself and experience the horror of Suicide Forest.